<laughs> Where did the name come from? This is a question we often get asked. It's a Tim Hortons cup. The most Canadian looking thing you will find in Canada. And no, this video is not sponsored by them at all. I'm going to check out all the local coffee shops in Thunder Bay to find out is Tim Hortons or Starbucks the only options you have to grab your favorite coffee from. Well, thank you. Our first stop is... We are Upshot Coffee House. I'm Andrea. This is Crystal. We're located at 111 and a half South Main Street in Thunder Bay, Ontario. Okay, so each day we have people come in on their way to work in this area. They don't necessarily live in the area, but they come through. They'll um, pick up a coffee on the way to work, or they'll come in and have a little lunch meetings, or a lot of them just come grab our homemade soup and go back to work. We also have a lot of students who will come in. We do have a free TVL Wi-Fi, so they'll come in and sit and study and we have uh, a lot of retirees who will come in here and they meet every day and it's really sweet to have this bond with them. Um, our baked goods come from um, Donut Run. A lot of it is, well majority of the time it is vegan so people come in specifically to pick up that pastry because it's delicious. Um, even if you're not vegan, they're amazing. So we also have um, sandwiches that we make in-house and soup that are homemade. People come in for their coffees. There are always regulars who come in. And our coffee is locally roasted, so it's wolf head. And we do have our house blend, which is the Upshot blend. This is the only place you can get it in the whole world. So people will come here because it's a great, bold flavor, but it's not bitter. Well, this is my second Aloha Mocha from them. So you can tell that I'm loving it. And if you are in Thunder Bay, if you will be in Thunder Bay, make sure to check it out. And I, I can see it in the lens. I guess I messed up my mustache. But no worries, I'll fix that up. And I'm on my way to my next spot that is Beverage Coffee. They have, a, they have a bell system. Like you can... Uh, can I order now? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I didn't yeah. realize you wanted to order at all. Oh, no worries. They said that uh, they do like to try to make a difference, make a change for the better. We've gotten vandalized, we've had uh, rocks thrown through the window and robbed and you know what, they, they just took that and they made a good thing out of it. They, they painted the rock, put it up for auction and we got a letter, a, a hate letter and uh, the way Gary and Alan took it is let's get everybody together and let's you know love wins and we've got all these different uh, we're very accommodating to any of your strict uh, dietary needs we're very uh, everything is very natural we make our Gary makes his own syrups he makes his own dressings he makes everything everything's a real healthy base this is my first time that I came to Bay Village Coffee I've been in Thunder Bay for like three years I've heard good stuff but I never really got a chance to visit here and I'll say from their social media too, like the vibe that I got, and it was the same vibe in person too. It is a community-based cafe, and I believe that's what cafes are for, you know, to bring people together. That's the same vibe I got from uh, Upshot Coffee House, and that's the same vibe I got from here too. And I'll enjoy my London foam, I believe that's what it was called and my pride donut and I'll see you on the next spot. Cab was not a good option for the day because it's getting warmer but being fiend cafe and sandwich bar is surely a good option. It's just five minutes from Bay Village uh, coffee and it's like it's between it's on the downtown area. They have the patio set up you can also uh, sit inside, they have different options to try from hot coffees, cold coffees and I got myself this iced coffee because as I told you, the day is getting warmer. So if you cannot tell, 
This is a very quiet place, quiet kind of a cafe. I got myself a latte and a lemon poppy scone. So if you want to work in silence, this is a great place to visit. And I believe it is a, uh, it's a, it's a church-based cafe. Like, I mean, the, the boat says the Port Arthur Baptist Church. So that's what my understanding says. And you can have a look around and uh, I'll just taste what I ordered. Yeah, as I said, if you want to work in, you know, less noise or do some creative work, creative thinking, visit the habit. Okay, so now I'm looking for uncommon baked shop and if I'm right, it's in this building. Thank you. Common Baked Goods started as a, an online platform during the pandemic. Um, I came home to visit my family from Vancouver and decided to start baking and selling product online. I had previously worked as a pastry chef for many years and Uncommon kind of took off and then I was approached to open the bakery in the space and one thing led to another and here I am. We specialize in modern pastry with a twist. And so we try and utilize as many local and seasonal ingredients as possible and also focus on using interesting, kind of not so readily available things like spices. Um, tonka bean is one of our favorites and just using different quality ingredients that you can't usually find in the city. Well, that was fun. Thanks to her for being nice enough to allow me to shoot. Let's go to our next spot. Listen, did you know a coffee in the morning alerts your system and four coffees in a day won't let you sleep in the night? The first one I knew already, the second one I realized yesterday. And that's the price I'm paying to show you all the spaces. So make sure you like, share and comment on the video and subscribe to our channel. With that being said, I'm at Club Cappuccino Cafe and Desserts. We are located at 595 West Arthur Street in the Brentwood Mall, a corner of Arthur and Mount Dale. Uh, we have been in business for 27 years. Um, it makes us one of the oldest cafes in Thunder Bay. Our specialties are homemade Italian desserts, uh, especially cheesecakes, cannolis, and biscotti. And we feature all kinds of specialty coffees, cappuccinos, espressos, lattes, and right now all kinds of iced cappuccinos and iced lattes as well. So that was a fresh vibe, uh, Carlito's Board Game Cafe. I couldn't get a hold of the owners, uh, he was not available, but he was nice enough to allow me to shoot. And it's fairly a new place, it's their 11th week, that's what the employee told me. It's not like the typical cafes, I mean of course typical cafes are fun, but this is something new to try as per their vibe. They have board games, so you know, you can come with your friends and spend some quality time. And I'm on to my next spot. That's... That's... Dolce. On Arthur Street, Thunder Bay. Let's check this place out. Um, it's a very relaxing atmosphere. Um, we try and welcome every customer that walks in, makes them feel as much as home as we can. We sell muffins, croissants, cookies, um, Italian biscottis um, of many different flavors. There's tons of options to choose from. Um, an Italian traditional pastry, they are called spogliatelle, and they are delicious. 
because I had a time frame to cover most of the cafes and they were closing for the day in two hours. After this, you will see the cafe videos and not me doing the outro or intro. So if you did like those, I'm sorry. If you did not, well, you're welcome. <laughs> You should come to the Sweet North Bakery because we're a locally owned, locally grown business. Um, we make everything from scratch and we try to do, offer the freshest product at an affordable price to our customer and because we're so friendly. Our original bakery is located at 10 Court Street South in downtown Thunder Bay and we have a drive through location at 802 Fort William Road. Uh, we, we offer a lot of different baked items as well as lunch items. We specialize in pretzels and pretzel buns. Our sandwiches are on pretzel buns. And we make all of our own meats and condiments for our sandwiches. And then we also have sticky buns, a variety of cookies, uh, cupcakes, brownies. Uh, we started as a home-based business in 2013. We sold at the farmer's market. And then in 2014, we opened our bakery on Court Street. And then uh, during the pandemic, as in response to the pandemic, we opened our drive-through in April 2021. This is Lindy Shores Cafe, and we're located inside Cool Interiors um, at the Marina on Thunder Bay. Uh, 2212 Sleeping Giant Parkway. Our coffee roasters are Phil and Sebastian. They're based out of Calgary, Alberta. We offer a variety of pastry. Um, we always try to carry gluten-free options, just guaranteed gluten-free. Um, and we try to keep vegan ones as well. Uh, we have a lot of different bars, uh, like date squares, oat bars, um, we get a bunch of different scones. We have a cheese scone, raspberry and blueberry scone that are super popular. Um, and then we try and have carrot cake or and cheesecake on hand as well. We have a generic menu of latte, cappuccino, flat white, things like that, the Americanos. Uh, we have hot options, iced options, uh, non-dairy milks like oat milk and almond milk. So it's a local sweater done by the Wintering House. I think they're set up at the farmer's market. Um, and we have the Sleeping Giant one, and we have 1117 with a moose, and so that's really cute as well. And we also have the mugs done by a local potter. Um, they're done by Donna Stecky. My name is Jamie Nichols. I am the CEO and Roastmaster here at Rosencrantz Roasting Company. Uh, we're located at 270 Cumberland Street North. This comes from a play by Shakespeare called Hamlet. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern were the friends of Hamlet that were brought to Denmark by the king in order to find out what was going wrong with Hamlet. Uh, one of my favorite plays is a play by Tom Stoppard called Rosencrantz and Guildenstern Are Dead. It was also a movie uh, with Gary Oldman, Tim Roth, and uh, Richard Dreyfuss. And that's loosely where the, the name comes from, is my love of that movie, and so Rose and Krantz. Primarily roast coffee for wholesale. Uh, we distribute it around the city to coffee shops, restaurants, retail locations. We also are in uh, several regional areas, and we ship all over Canada. Uh, we have a really awesome online shopping experience with subscriptions, so you can have your coffee uh, bought every week or roasted every week and delivered to your door, or you can come in and pick it up every week so you get the freshest possible coffee. The coffee can be a very pretentious thing, and that's when it gets into the pressures, and like, um, you can get into the, uh, the whole process in here, you can, ex you can mess with the settings, you can mess with temperatures and pressures, and, uh, and you can really extend those ext extraction rates and everything. I don't get a lot into that. I find that it becomes too pretentious and too inaccessible for people, right? So we want people to access this who are normal people. So when you start talking about pressures and extraction rates, people are like, I don't know what that is. I don't want to know what that is. I just want a good cup of coffee. And that's really where we're existing as a company. We're existing in that realm of we want normal people, everyday people, to be able to approach specialty coffee and enjoy it and understand enough to enjoy it without getting into the pretentiousness of uh, like, is it, you know, single origin bean? Is it Arabica? Is it particular varietal? We don't want to get into any of that. It's just not, it's not, we can, it's just it's, most people don't want to know. 
They just want a good cup of coffee, and that's what we're really aiming for. Hey, this is me again. I know I said I won't be in the video, but this is future me. And the reason I am here, future me, because we almost missed a few spots that were well known for their coffee, but it was not listed on the Google, so we didn't want to miss those places. And with that being said, we are at Fox on the Run, and let's check this place out. I get a lot of comments like, they love the coziness of the place. We kept the fireplace and all the old books. People take books and bring them back. I love it. I think it's sort of like an old-fashioned mom and pa shop that we know your name and we like to have you sit and be a friend. And I think it's, we, it's not a fast-paced, quick, you know, stainless steel tables. We like it. It's a warm, kind of comforting place. Fox on the Run has been here for 16 years, I believe. And it came from, uh, we had originally operated the White Fox Inn for 19 years. And during that time, we were doing a lot of business and corporate catering. And we found that we were a little bit too far out to get our customers lunch on time. So that's where this place started. So Fox on the Run came from the White Fox Inn. And now it's, uh, we operate this location, and we, from here we do lunches. We're open until six. Uh, we do uh, coffee, of course, loose leaf teas. We have our lovely cappuccino machine, our lovely espresso machine, cappuccinos and lattes. We also do lots of catering, so any event from business to birthday parties, showers. It's wedding season right now, so we're up to our eyeballs in weddings, which we love. And other than that, we are here open six days a week. We, uh, we serve homemade soup. We make two fresh soups every day. And uh, we serve our lovely sandwiches on local bread. We use cheese from the cheese farm, uh, Thunder Oguda. And then we don't use any deli meat. So we use real chicken, turkey, ham, roast beef. It's all uh, real stuff that we cook up. So our sandwich, we try and do as much local stuff. We order from all over the place from Donato's to Maltese's to European Meats, I'm missing a whole bunch of places, but Five Star Bakery, um, Joe Mick Baking does some of our stuff. So we try and we spread all a bunch of business all around so we can get all of our local goodness here. Another thing that we do that you'll see driving around is our Fox on the Go truck, which um, again, take off of our name. Same name, different idea. So our, we do have a truck that'll be at events. Tomorrow's Canada Day, so we'll be there with our handmade burgers and our fresh cut fries, uh, making poutine and all kinds of stuff. And that truck's available to rent as well. We're doing lots of weddings and private parties. You know, if you wanna have late night snacks or do your full wedding, the truck will be there for you as well. Next coffee house on our list is on Frederica Street in Westfold Village, which is also a part of Thunder Bay. Seattle Coffee House is well known for its refreshing ambience, coffee specials, bakery options, and Mama Alpha's pizzas. So whenever you are in this part of the city, Make sure to visit them for a refreshing cup of coffee or perhaps a slice of their delicious pizza. Our pursuit of Cafe Chronicles actually brought us to a full-fledged vintage car fest. But that's not the only reason we are here for. This cafe actually has an interesting story. Originally, I was going to take, go, uh, take over the Robins uh, as an existing franchise operation. Uh, however, some of my ideas were outside the scope of operation as a franchise, a uh, fra potential franchisor, a franchisee, I mean, and uh, uh, so we couldn't really come to terms of agreement where I can operate it more independently than they actually liked. And so I decided to uh, sh uh, shut down the franchise and rebrand myself under my own personal brand, which is now the Country Cafe. And I have my own menu line, and uh, we do carry some of the, the Robin's breakfast products, which I think are great, and my customers appreciate that. And uh, but we're no longer really a donut shop. We do sell donuts and other baking uh, we do in-house. But the bottom line is, uh, 
and we're not really a donut shop anymore. We are we still remain a cafe, and predominantly most of our customers are breakfast, lunch, uh, lunchtime people. A lot of the local people, a lot of the local contractors and employees uh, stop in to grab something to eat. Our hours are from six in the morning, and we shut down at seven in the evening. Uh, we have, uh, we're gonna be continually expanding as far as our menu uh, products. Uh, we kind of have a varied menu for people that are vegetarian and people that like to eat uh, various, the various types of food. Mostly I specialize in Italian. Uh, Italian meatballs are all homemade Italian. It's a hundred year old Italian recipe I carried back from Italy. And uh, today we're featuring Italian meatballs with my grandma's recipe and also Italian sausage made from my family recipe from way back when. So we have a lot of uh, different food items on the menu that should please the masses. And then tonight we have a, I know it's a, a popular menu item at the festas in Italian. Obviously you've guessed I'm Italian by my cultural heritage. We have gnocchi, uh, meatballs with my sauce, and we have uh, uh, tortellini with Alfredo and penne and meatballs. So we have an interesting lineup of food, we have an interesting lineup of entertainment, and we have an ice cream shack too, that's new here. So people can come up and enjoy ice cream. Today we're gonna have the bouncy castles here so that the kids can enjoy that, and it's all the money raised. A portion of my sales go to Camp Quality and RSDA. So when people are coming out here, they're actually enjoying the food, the, the entertainment, the cars, and we've asked people to donate to the RFDA, so we're gonna hopefully, we're gonna bring in that. So that's all part and parcel of the entire event for today for Canada Day. And I hope to make it an annual tradition. And then uh, we have the bus shuttle that's gonna shuttle us from Casper Transportation, the shuttling from the tournament center. The, the owners of the tournament center have graciously donated the use of their lot, uh, along with uh, the owners of Bo Daddy's as well. They've graciously donated, and so we have uh, Casper Transportation shuttling people back and forth. Uh, to avoid congested uh, area with parking. Hello, is that on? Yes, it's on, yeah. Hello, happy Canada Day, everyone. My name is Father Ray from St. Elizabeth Paris, and I've been making spring rolls to raise funds for my, my community at St. Elizabeth. And um, how to make them, it's very easy. You have to buy a spring roll wrapper, put some carrots and uh, ground pork, um, spring onions and onions, and uh, some other things. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the beef. Meatball and a sausage. Okay. Meatball and sausage. Oh, sausage. Meatball and. Yeah, I'll prefer it. If you can just close that one properly. Yeah. Yeah. I usually do once I get the. Oh, beef. that's why. <laughs> I know you're busy. Believe oh, me. Busy. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. We are going to eat the food and we'll try the food. We'll tell you how the food is and then we'll move on to our next spot. So the burger is good. These are from my friends and I hope these are good. They look good. And meanwhile we are having this. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment and share the video so we feel appreciated to do more i mean we'll do more anyways but make sure you do all of that so we are motivated and inspired to do more and we'll bring you more thunder bay content and yeah we'll finish this and move on to our next part see you there So we are back from Country Cafe and just half an hour drive from Thunder Bay is Metropolitan Moose Binary and Cafe which is located in Kakabeka and uh, it's, it's famous for their iced beverages and their bakery. Oh, And this is what I was expecting, thank you so much. And she's the owner of the place and let's go inside and check out the place. We are the Metropolitan Moose Beaner Inn Cafe and we're located in beautiful Kekabaka Falls. Um, we started here in 2004 uh, just as a little coffee shop with uh, coffee and baking and we grew into a full restaurant. Um, we've had a very successful go at it. Um, when COVID came along we kind of adapted a bit and we changed over our seating area to gifts. 
Um, and now we've really expanded the bakery part of it. Um, lots of bread. Um, our, one of our main products is our butter tarts. We were voted in 2007 in Cottage Life magazine, voted as one of Canada's favorite bake shops. I like to think I came up with it. My husband thinks he came up with it. I don't know. It was just something a little different uh, located in the little town here. A little bit of big city name. No, they are not. So we decided long ago that we couldn't do both roast the beans and have a successful busy business. Um, we bring all of our beans in from Southern Ontario. Eat local, shop local has kind of became a mantra in Thunder Bay, um, especially after COVID. I, I know I'm a small business owner. I very rarely walk through the door of a big box store. Yeah, got to keep it local. You're going to have fresher, better, good service. We aim to cover most, if not all, of the cafes in Thunder Bay. So we still covered those that we couldn't shoot inside because they were closed by the time we reached. So here's a quick shout out to those places. St. Paul Roastery, located in the heart of downtown Thunder Bay, is well known for its technique and they also supply to local stores. So if you are a coffee enthusiast, that's a perfect place for you. Next one on the list is Nomad. It's located in the Thunder Bay Airport, an excellent option to grab a cup of coffee and snacks while waiting for your flight to depart. Crest Coffee for Time Cafe is pretty new compared to other places. Unfortunately, I never got a chance to go in, but it's in the heart of downtown, just like St. Paul Roastery, ready to serve fresh coffee. Last but not the least on the list is Calico's that we couldn't get access to, but it is still there for you to enjoy and have a good time. Those were Thunder Bay's coffee places that you can visit and enjoy the deliciousness. If you liked the video or if I missed any cafe, please let me know in the comments and I will try to cover those in the future. Thank you for watching.